Upgrading your computer with additional storage is easier than you might think. With all the digital photos, videos, and music that people collect, running out of space on your computer is becoming very common. If you find yourself needing more storage space, it's surprisingly simple to replace your current hard drive with a larger capacity drive or add a new hard drive to your system if you have an available slot. I'm going to show you how to add a second hard drive to your computer. Let's get started. First, back up your personal files to protect your data. We recommend saving the data to an external drive, such as a Western Digital MyBook or My Passport drive, as it's faster and easier than using DVDs or other media. Hard drives are precision instruments and should be handled with care during unpacking and installation. To be safe, do not unpack the hard drive until you're ready to install it. And make sure you have a clean, level, and padded work area. To avoid an electrostatic discharge, ground yourself by touching the metal chassis of the computer before handling the hard drive. When you're ready, remove the hard drive from the static shielding bag and place the drive on top of it. Be sure to handle the hard drive by the sides only and avoid touching any of the circuit board components. Do not remove the tape seal or any labels as this will void the hard drive warranty. Articles of clothing generate static electricity, so be sure that clothing does not come in direct contact with the hard drive or circuit board components. As you can see, I've turned off the computer and unplugged it. I've also removed the cover. Every computer is different, so be sure to consult your manual for instructions. Now we're ready to install the second drive. Locate the empty drive bay. Now remove the mounting sled. This system utilizes a self-locking drive mount. In some computers, you will mount the drive with screws. Please consult your computer manual for details. Next, clip the drive into the mounting sled. And slide the drive back into the bay. Now, attach the SATA interface cable to the drive, then to an open SATA port on the motherboard. The cable is notched, so you can't make a mistake. Next, connect the power supply cable to the power connector on the drive. Check the cable connections to ensure they're snug. Now we're ready to secure the cover of the computer. Now that my drive is installed and I've reassembled my system and booted it up, I'm ready to set up my new drive. Click the Start button. Right-click My Computer, then click Manage. Click Disk Management. The Initialize and Convert Disk Wizard will appear. Follow the prompts in the wizard to complete the initialization. Next, format the drive. Once the disk is initialized, right-click in the unallocated space. Click on Create Partition from the menu. The Create Partition wizard appears. Click Next to continue. Assign a drive letter that is not in use by other devices. Then click Next to continue. Leave the allocation unit size at default and label the drive as desired. Select Perform a Quick Format, and then click Next to continue. Click Finish when done. It's that simple. I now have a brand new, high-capacity Western Digital Drive in my computer with plenty of room for all my videos, photos, music, and more. Installing a new drive into an available bay is just one option for upgrading a desktop PC. You can also replace your current drive with a higher capacity drive. Instructions for that and other options, along with free drive management software, can be found on the WD website.